Assalamu alaikum. If you're not familiar with that salutation, that only means peace be unto you. When Jesus met his disciples and his followers, he always greeted them with peace be unto you. Because we know that we live in hell. And when you are in hell, the greatest thing that you can say to one another is peace be unto you. So I open up with assalam alaikum. Peace be unto you. But we know that there can be no peace with no justice. In just a few words that I want to say because it's already really been said. What we need to do now is stop talking and start walking. Stop talking and start doing. Stop talking and start doing what you know is right. It was Emmett Till 50 some years ago. It's Trayvon Martin today. What is it going to be tomorrow? The Bible says the two great commandments. That you should love God with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. Is that right? And then it says the second is love your neighbor. What? 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 As you love yourself. So that would imply to me that if you don't love yourself, you cannot love your neighbor. If you don't love yourself as black people, you cannot unite with other people. If you cannot respect your own community, you cannot respect respect from other communities. So there's an African proverb that says, if you kick your own dog, don't be mad when somebody else kick your own dog. Because you have not put respect on that dog. You have not honored that dog. You have not valued that dog. So we as black men, we have to say enough is enough no. to the crime, the disrespect about black women, the molestation and disrespect about children. These are things that we have to stop and put our foot down on as black men. Our women have been shown it all along. When we were being lynched, hung, castrated, it was this black woman here who stood up and raised and took care of our babies. When are black men gonna stand up and take charge of their community? And take charge of what's going on among us as a people. This beautiful black man right here, he has been reduced to a slogan. Yes, sir. I have a dream. Yes, sir. As though, as though that's all he ever said. Yes, sir. This great man here said to Harry, Be Harry Belafonte before he passed, I feel I have integrated my people into a burning house. Yes, yeah. sir. So he was a man who was constantly evolving, growing, and changing. Yeah. And before he passed, he said, I feel like I've integrated my people into a burning down yeah. house. Yeah. And this is certainly a burning yeah. down house. Yeah. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Aslam Ali. Yes, sir. Your boy, they waiting on who next.